history. This is breaking live in Las Vegas, Nevada tonight. That's the Mandalay Bay Hotel where the shooter was on the 32nd floor. Hundreds of people were injured, taken to five hospitals in southern Nevada last night. Now, police have warned that identifying bodies will be a long and laborious process. There are so many to count. Uh, 58 people killed and 500 plus injured. A truly terrifying situation, something you really don't want to plan for when you're headed to the fun of a concert. Do you know what you would do if it ever happened to you? We have extensive live team coverage tonight. Our Justin Page joins us live from the Lakeview Amphitheater. Uh, he begins this portion of our team coverage tonight. Justin. Megan and Matt, whenever you're attending a large public gathering, just like a concert here at the Lakeview Amphitheater, it's important to be aware of your surroundings, know exactly where your exits are, and to have a plan just in case something goes wrong. Tom Chiz is the founder of Armored One, a company specializing in training people on how to be proactive against attacks. He says in these situations, everyone's first instinct naturally is to run, but it only makes you a bigger target. Looking for some place to be out of view uh, is the first goal that you have, is looking for that point of cover. What can you get behind that's actually going to stop or slow down those bullets? She says the 22,000 people enjoying Jason Aldean Sunday night were at a big disadvantage. They were in a bad spot. Um, tactically, the guy being higher than them, looking down, and they had the lights also blinding them to where the gunfire was coming from, and they didn't have, being an open field, there was not much cover for them to to have. He says the lack of spots to seek cover is one of the festival venues flaws. It does not hurt to bring in more armed security. Also putting up counter snipers. If your local SWAT teams, you can hire them through your police departments to put SWAT teams um, out there and put the snipers out where they can actually see and oversee areas like we do for presidential details. She says it's unfortunate it takes events like this to remind people to be prepared. That's when this should start to ring a bell in your head again and saying, pay attention, look to where you can get out, look to where you can hide just in case, God forbid, something happens. Because I guarantee you out of those 22,000 people yesterday, a majority of them were not thinking anything like this would ever happen. Although it may be stressful to think it could happen to you, it's always good to have a plan. If gunshots went off, you can save your life, you can save your family's life by acting the right way. With more of these violent attacks, the demand for active shooter training has increased and kept security experts like Armored One busy. For now, reporting live at the Lakeview Amphitheater, I'm Justin Page.